Cheers. Good morning. We left our Airbnb this morning and we have spent the best part of two and a half hours driving up from there across some beautiful scenic views to Freysnet National Park. When you arrive here, there is a visitor center and you need to buy an entrance pass. It costs just under 45 Australian dollars. They've given us a map and the main draw is Wine Glass Bay Lookout. It is a quite steep hike that takes an hour and a half there and back. However, the weather today is very gray and we've been told that there is absolutely no view at the top today. So she recommended that we go see Honeymoon Bay, Sleepy Bay, and even potentially make our way up here instead. So we'll just see where the day takes us because our plans have kind of changed and we've had to make a few adjustments. As mentioned, we've come to Honeymoon Bay and look how gorgeous it is. arrived to Wineglass Bay and we scoped it out, talked to some people who've already been up there today, and they said that the view is incredible. So we are fueling up and we're going to do the hour and a half hike. Way there. So we are now at the lookout, and actually, despite the signs, the walk only took us about 25 minutes. It was a lot easier than I expected. All of the blogs that I read talked about bouldering and how difficult it was but it was mostly just a path with a pretty slow incline and then some stairs that were not deep or anything they were pretty small back to the car and that was so much easier than we expected. It's always a pleasant surprise in my books when something turns out to be simpler and the views were so worth it. I feel like anyone can kind of do that hike. 
Yeah, it was super straightforward. I have to admit, I was dreading it when we were kind of reading that description from that one article. I'm not sure if they kind of took a wrong turn or anything. There is another track called the Mount Amos track, which apparently takes three to five hours and does involve bouldering. And they specifically warn that if it's wet, it will be very slippery. So maybe the blog was referring to that, but I could have sworn it wasn't. I don't know. Either way, pleasant surprise. Speaking of pleasant surprises, though, how cute was that wallaby? Oh my gosh, like it was just on a human pathway. Yeah, just casually grazing among some shrubs. It was amazing. And it didn't even run away. It wasn't that scared, seemingly. No, it didn't seem bothered. Like there were probably about 10 different people all trying to get like footage, photos, all of that kind of stuff, including us. And it just was completely not bothered. It was amazing. But we now move on to Sleepy Bay next, which should be about a 10 minute drive from here. from Ontario, aka back home, Freycinet National Park kind of reminds me of Algonquin. Like a coastal Algonquin. Our last stop for the day is Cape Torville, known for its lighthouse. day yesterday and has been driving all day today so I figured I would give him a break and drive the hour and a half to our Airbnb. Thanks babe. We are now at our Airbnb and it has been another great day but a long day, another early start and a late finish so with that we're just gonna chill i think so we will pick this up tomorrow until next time take care and keep smiling (laughs) your chewing is distracting me (laughs) you said you wanted to see him while you're i know (laughs) we (laughs) will our last stop for the day Uh, mm Mm-hmm.